Hey, what up, Toolmaker? Today I'm going to go over automation in Pro Tools. So with that, let's go ahead and dive in. Automation is a really powerful way to build tension, customize effects, and overall enhance and bring professionalism to your tracks. To start, if you want the shortcuts to work, make sure that the focus icon is selected up here. For simple fades, if I double click and highlight my clip, I can press Command F. This brings up your batch fades window. Here you can choose how you want your fades to be shaped. So bringing this up will do your entire clip. In this case, I just want to do this end part. So I hit Command F. And now I can choose my shape. Hit OK. And now I've got my fade. Same goes for the middle if you've done any splicing. Command F. And now I could just insert a fade. Another thing that I do with automation is manually DS. So I'll play part of the track. But she keep pushing even when she ain't fit. So if I already have a DSer on here and maybe it's not working or maybe there's this one syllable here, what I can do is I can come here and I usually use volume trim. I'll highlight my S and then I can just lower it to taste. But she keep pushing even. But she keep pushing even when she ain't. I do this sometimes so I don't overuse my DSer. So I usually use volume trim versus volume because then I'll still have control over the volume fader by selecting trim. You also notice that you can automate your panning as well. I use this technique if I just have one or two sibilant parts popping out. So instead of overusing a deesser, I'll just manually lower the sibilance. Another technique that you can also use in this situation is using clip gain. Next, I'll be going over automating plugins. In this example, I'll be using a send. And if you're not sure how to set up a send or a bus, I have a video for that up here. So once your send is added to the track, it's really easy to add simple automation. Your automation options are going to show up here. Next, I'll show you how to automate a perimeter of a plugin. In this case, I'll be using my delay and my delay is still set up on a send. Next, all you do is come up to the plugin automation box up here. Now you can pick and choose what you want to have access to automate, but sometimes you get plugins with a lot of different options. So in that case, there's a simpler way. So a simpler way to do this, you're going to press Control Option Command and you're going to click on the parameter. Now I can enable automation for delay offset. In this case, I'm actually going to be doing the feedback. So my delay is on my send. So this is where I'm going to find the parameter. I can come over here now to feedback. So in this scenario, I just want my delay to keep going and stop down over here. So I'll play the example without the delay. You ain't feeling right. Sometimes love is just making it through the night. Now with automating the feedback. You ain't feeling right. Sometimes love is just making it through the night. And as a bonus, I'll show you how to print your effects. Sometimes printing your effects, you can have a little bit more control of say a reverb or a delay. And in this case, what I want is I want the delay to just stop completely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an empty track, put it on an empty bus. Now I'm gonna come over here to my send, which is where my delay is. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bus this to the empty track. I'm gonna use this pre-fader. I'm gonna make sure that my effect's at zero so that way I'm getting the full effect. Now I'm gonna hit record and the track input monitor. Now I'll just record where I wanna record the effect. I was just making it through the night. Now I can just have the delay stop where I want it to stop. Nice. So that's how you set up automation in Pro Tools and a few ways that I use automation. And if you have some ways that you like to use automation, drop them in the comments. And if you like videos like this, please feel free and like and subscribe. Other than that, peace out.